Okay. Okay, let's go ahead. Mr. Nicola. Yeah. Good afternoon for you. Good afternoon. So, Mazal to everybody. Good evening. I'd like to thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, I don't want to introduce you. I will leave the introduction for you to yourself now. You can start go ahead with your presentation. Your presentation will be about the importance of Jonix Air non thermal plasma uh, system in indoor air quality improvement and especially killing COVID 19 uh, virus. So, let's yes. see what you have and please introduce yourself. Go ahead. Thank you so Good much, start. Rami. Thank you so much, Rami. It's a great pleasure to be with you. Uh, my name is Nicola Gardim. I'm business developer of Jonix Air. Jonix is an Italian company specialized in design and manufacturing of sanitization systems for professional use. So this evening we are going to speak about one of these magic technology. Fake technology. It's true there are many, many options in the market in our days, but uh, what we have done is to uh, test our technology and we have several important installations in Europe, in Far East, and now also in Middle East to prove the efficiency and quality of our job. So let's talk about uh, uh, today situation and these are the topics. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, which is the effect of COVID-19 in our concept, the traditional concept of indoor air quality, which is the approach of the on the pandemic uh, in 2020. And then we are going to talk about the non-thermal plasma. Non-thermal plasma, that uh, it's something that was invented not by us, by Mr. Einstein, discovered this. And now non-thermal plasma is uh, one of the most important technology, modern technology to, co to, to fight the pathogens on air and surfaces. Uh, we have developed our own non-thermal plasma thanks of a very deep study on the electronic point of view of this phenomena. And uh, I will explain in detail uh, the results of our uh, technology. So we know that starting with the concept that we spend uh, from 80 to 90% of the time uh, inside the building. So big part of our life is uh, spent inside the building. So it's mandatory in our days uh, to consider the importance of indoor air quality since uh, maybe some years ago when we were talking about indoor uh, air quality we were talking about mainly temperature and humidity level today is not enough today we have to consider many other aspects about indoor air quality and take also in consideration that uh, it's uh, it's very clear now that uh, mostly in most of the cases the indoor air quality is a five times worse than outdoor one. So it's extremely important to study and to evaluate which are the main contaminants inside an ambience. Everybody is expert. All people that are participating to this important uh, seminar are experts of indoor air quality. So we know that which are the main uh, elements that participate to evaluate, to classify the, the quality of the air. So the presence of microorganisms like bacteria, yeast, molds, virus, but also the old VOC, the volatile organic compounds that are coming from paints, cleaning products, uh, formaldehyde, so furniture, office equipment. But we have also other elements, the airborne particles like dust, smoke, fibers, the PM and the household odors, gases. So all products are coming from, for example, smoke of cigarettes, cooking odors, CO2. So all of them uh, contribute to alterate the indoor air conditioning. But now the situation is, is different. Uh, and I, I'd like to, to share the time between uh, two parts before COVID-19 and after COVID-19, because we learned a lot of things. Before of COVID-19, uh, our enemy the, were the traditional contaminants, what we have seen in the previous slides. That was the problem. We had uh, to reduce the concentration of these contaminants to reduce the impact to the people inside the ambient and so to improve the indoor air quality. And how we decided, how we, we 
we proceed to do this. But the main goal was uh, to adopt the technology to eliminate the source of pollution, internal pollution, to reduce the emissions of these contaminants, improving the ventilation. Uh, we had uh, some very interesting presentations today regarding this uh, topic. Or to adopting uh, some air cleaning systems. Something, this, this was the traditional uh, approach to this topic. But after COVID-19, we have seen that this was not enough because uh, besides the traditional contaminants, we discovered the virus that is hosted by human people and also is hosted by bacteria. But not only, the virus we have seen that is present not only on air, but also on the surfaces. So we have in this moment uh, to treat not only the air that is inside an ambient, but also all the surfaces inside an ambient, furniture, wall, ceiling, any surface can be dangerous because we can find a concentration of bacteria over there and we know that inside the bacteria there is a virus because virus, as described also in the previous presentation, cannot live alone. He has to be inside a host and the most common host is a bacteria. So which is the new target. The new target is to forget to consider only the indoor air quality, but to consider the indoor environment quality and safety, because it's not a matter today about only quality of life, wellness, comfort, comfort. It's a matter also to safety, because we have seen that in case of this virus, but who knows in the future, the ambient has not to be only comfortable, but it has to be also safety for us. So the main goal is to improve the indoor air quality and to eliminate all the pathogens present in all surfaces. Because this, uh, the, the contact is one on the way how we can transmit all these diseases and in particular the COVID-19. So we are in front of new challenge the constant sanitization of air and surfaces. And this activity has to be done 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days per year. So continuously, we cannot stop these activities because we have no control about this virus. It was clearly explained that this virus is very small. It's a very small element that is very difficult to stop. So we have to protect ourselves with a strategy that has to take care about the quality of air and to sanitize in, in the same time all the surface inside an ambient. Because we have to protect ourselves and to improve the indoor environment quality and safety. This is a, a joke we can say, but at the end of the day, this is what uh, we have seen on the left, the picture about the Spanish flow, the very famous Spanish flow that uh, happened almost one year, 100 years ago. And uh, the, what it was suggested that time was to wear the mask, to clean the hands, to maintain the social distance. And today, what happened? Today is almost the same. They suggest us to wear the mask. They suggest us to maintain clean the hands and to uh, maintain the social distance, which is the progress. Only the selfie, the possibility to make the selfie. One funny thing that also 100 years ago, there were people that uh, were not able to wear the mask properly. So it's like exactly today. But a part of joke, uh, uh, there was an evolution in technology and uh, we trust, uh, in Europe, we are concentrated a lot in the R&D of new technologies to approach the problems. It's true that uh, a old and consolidated technology is reliable. It's true, but uh, we cannot stop the progress. We have to look forward and we have to invest in R&D. And so this is the reason why today we are talking about non-thermal plasma. I fully agree that in the market you can find any fake uh, products. I've seen in the market blue lights used to kill the mosquito and uh, sold as a perfect solution to kill the COVID-19. This is common. We are living in a huge uh, market. This is uh, the result of a free market, but you have to be careful in the selection of, the, of your suppliers. Uh, Jonix, 
is a leader in design of machines based on non-thermal plasma technology. Because our target is to protect the people inside the building, any type of building, any type of structure, to protect means to guarantee the quality of air and to guarantee the constant sanitization of the surfaces inside the building. But what is it really, this non-thermal plasma? Non-thermal plasma, the plasma in general, it's a blend. It's a gas, it's a blend of ionized gas. We can consider as an evolution of ionization. It's an evolution, yes, it's a, it's a right way to describe. It's a blend, it's a mix of really energized elements. So like ions, electrons, free radicals, moleculars, neutral atoms and all this mix of elements they have a very huge energy because the energy that we supply to the air to the air it's the same phenomenon that you have after a storm or during the very very sunny days there is a huge concentration of energy that is spread to the air and this air is is charged of non thermal plasma what happened which are the performances of these uh, technology. I fully agree with uh, Dr. Marwan. It's uh, really important to make tests, to make uh, tests in independent laboratories, to make tests with universities, and to prove what we are promoting, what we are marketing. This is the cover of uh, our uh, scientific dossier. It's over 300 pages of uh, case studies, tests done by third-party laboratories, tests done by universities. And so there you can find all single tests that we have done regarding our technology. Let's start with the biological effect. So what is important to say that uh, with, our, with this mass of uh, very reactive elements, we go to, uh, we are extremely powerful in the, in the biological effect because we destroy the external membrane of the bacteria. Because we, all bacteria, virus, spores, we, we destroy the external part that is used to feed the bacteria. Because the electrons are used to take connected the external part of these uh, uh, biological elements and removing the electrons because the, the plasma is uh, very reactive and try to collect the electrons from the, from the air and in particular from the surface of this bacteria, we destroy the external part of the bacteria, the external uh, surface, and so the bacteria is no longer able to, to feed itself and ki it's killed instantaneously. So this is extremely important. We have done um, the tests, these are uh, available in the dossier test that I'm ready to share for, with everybody. We have done tests with, here are some examples of very common and dangerous bacteria as Escherichia coli, as uh, Staphylococcus. And we have seen that even only after two minutes, uh, the, the prolification of these bacteria was stopped. We have done this test in, on open air, so in the best conditions for the prolification of bacteria. And we have seen that there was a, a, the, the reduction of concentration after two minutes, it was stopped, and after five minutes, it was com they were completely eradicated. Obviously, that it was not possible to make this test on a handling unit or inside a supermarket or inside a, I don't know where. We have done this test, for example, in an operation theater. We have done this test inside a food laboratory. So all these tests are available, but uh, these results are regarding the tests that we have done also inside the laboratory. But uh, what is very important that uh, all these performances were also tested in a real field, so in real applications. Another important factor is due to the oxidizing effect. The oxidizing is the effect generated by the ROS, so reactive oxygen species. And these are very, so the, all the products of oxygen, like O2 minus 
all A minus uh, O pure. And all these uh, ROC, they destroy completely the volatile organic compounds. This is extremely important to protect the people inside an ambience by all the contaminants coming from inside the ambience. So the products of uh, paintings, uh, the products of formaldehyde, the other products used to clean the vapor coming from them. So this effect is extremely important and it's really appreciated, especially in the rehabilitation center. It's very appreciated inside the hospitals, but also inside office building, etc. So this is one of the effects that is much appreciated. Another important effect is regarding the microparticulates, the PM 2.5, PM 10, because thanks to NTP, non-thermal plasma, it favors the, co the coalescence of these uh, uh, microparticle that in this coalescence effect it means that uh, more particles join together and so at the end of the day the volume and so the weight is enough to fall down and so instead to have this particle free to fly on air and then to be breathed they are on the floor and this is extremely important to reduce the possibility to breath the PM. So this is a very important when we are very close to, for instance, to the trafficated road. Uh, I remember, I think about the big cities in the Middle East that are typically very close to the very trafficated roads. So where the concentration of PM is very high with this technology is possible to reduce the concentration of PM present on air. And so to help all people with respiration disease. This is another important uh, point. Talking about COVID-19. So COVID-19, uh, we started the test uh, in uh, May and we had five months test at the uh, microbiology department of Padua University. Padua University is one of the two universities in Italy with Milano that are allowed to manage the COVID-19 alive virus. This test was paid by my company, but it's not our property. The test is property of the university. So everybody in the world can ask to the university to check these tests. Obviously, we have done this test inside the laboratory and we, we spent five months to make this test. It was not possible, repeat, to do the test inside an mall or inside uh, a hospital because uh, it's clear why. But uh, the fact that we have done the test in the laboratory, it was necessary to identify, to check if this technology is suitable to kill the COVID-19 virus. And it is. Uh, the light in my room, it's enough to illuminate my room, but it's not enough to illuminate an airport. But this doesn't mean that the light is not, uh, it's a fake technology. It's simply not big enough. Indeed, when we select the device for uh, an inherent unit, for a mall, for an for a operation theater or a supermarket, it, uh, we select properly the size of the device. But the technology is the same. And the technology is suitable, is tested. We have been to kill 99 point six times nine after the zero, okay, COVID-19 in less than 30 minutes. And this is uh, the result of a test that is done by Dr. Crisanti, that is one of the most important researcher, doctor worldwide specialized in this field. And is signed, it's signed by him. So everybody can collect this test report or I can supply him to check it how it was done. We spent three weeks, almost one month, because it was written according to international standards, because each uh, laboratory, each university, each research center all around the world can collect this test report regarding the Jonix non-thermal plasma technology and to check our performances. So this is the way to work in serious mode. We are not a fake company, and this is not a magic technology. So which are the effects 
of our products. At first, a massive virucidal activity against COVID-19 on air and on surfaces. It's really important to understand that the air, we transform the air that is around of us as a virus hunter. So thanks of the air that is around of us, we kill the pathogens present on this ambient, on air and on all the surfaces. So this is the big revolution that is the air, the instrument to sanitize, to sanificate my ambient. It doesn't matter if uh, my virus or my bacteria is on air or behind my table, because everywhere my hair arrives, it kills the pathogens. In this way, I protect myself and I protect the people around myself because I contrast constantly the spreading of any airborne disease. Because today we talk about only COVID-19, but we know there are many other diseases that typically in the winter season, especially here in Europe, where it's not hot and comfortable, the weather as in Jordan or in the Middle East, the temperature goes down and so you have many diseases. But what say to me the doctors, my clients, the dentists, they say, we are really happy because all our staff is not no longer stay at home for illness because we protect our team from the other pathogens, from the contamination, from other diseases. We protect the people, the same inside the school. We reduce the absence for illness. This is extremely important. These are real results. It's not my, these are not my words, okay? We protect, uh, I use the same technology for the decontamination of all surfaces. So this is very important because we understood, we discovered with COVID-19 that also if I touch a surface that was in contact with the virus, I risk to catch the, the virus. So all surfaces are constant, constantly sanitized. One important last thing is that the plasma, non thermal plasma, has the capability to destroy any chemical and organic odors because each odor is, uh, chemically, sp chemically speaking, uh, made by a chain of carbon atoms. And the non thermal plasma cut this chain. And in order to, uh, to see that, to, to have the fact that the odor is not longer detectable by the persons. So I destroy completely any odors, smoke odors, uh, dust odors, humidity, cooked food odors, etc. How we generate it? Okay, we, as I told you, I supply energy to my air. I supply in the controlled way energy to my air because the risk is that if I supply too much energy, uh, very too much energy, the risk is to produce, produce ozone. And as you know, ozone is toxic. You cannot use ozone inside an ambient where you have people. So the ozone has to be used during the night time. But which is the and during the night time, the during the light time, the sound during... has uh, has a problem. Can you repeat uh, just one minute before now? Okay. Okay. I, I was telling, do you, do you hear me now be better? Yes, yes. No, I was telling that regarding uh, the, uh, how we generate the plasma, we supply energy to, air, to the air, but it has to be done uh, in very careful way. And uh, it, this is one of the secrets of our technology that is to control perfectly the energy that you supply to the air, because the risk that if you supply too much energy, really too much, the risk is to generate uh, ozone and ozone is toxic. Uh, to supply energy, to generate ozone, you have to supply energy with a voltages between 7,000 to 18,000 volts. Uh, we produce energy supplying uh, energy at voltages that is less than 3,000. So there's no possibility to spread ozone inside the end. But there are many people that are using ozone for the sanitization, but because it's, it's toxic, do you hear me, Rami? Yes, I hope so. Uh, because it's toxic. That's clear, uh, clear, Mr. Nicola, you can go ahead. 
fantastic because it's toxic. It's used uh, during the nighttime. It's uh, used to, for the sanitization. And what does it mean? That in, during the daytime, when people started to enter in the ambient, there's no protection. Nothing happened. There's no way to protect yourself. So it's unusable totally. So what, this is the heart of our technology. These are, this is our meters. Each one is handmade by us. Uh, so you have an internal part where you have uh, the internal uh, electrode that is uh, this part internally. Then you have uh, the glass that is the electric barrier. Then the discharge gap that is uh, the space between the glass and the external uh, stainless steel net where the, the air comes through. And uh, in this way, we supply, with this device, we supply energy uh, to, to the air. This is the heart of our machines, and you can find the same device in each one. It doesn't matter if it's a machine designed for uh, a uh, residential application or a machine designed for an operation theater or a machine designed to be installed inside an uh, air handling unit. So the in, in non-thermal plasma, it's a natural pathogen hunter because uh, on air, it's, uh, it's uh, looking for uh, pathogens because he needs to collect electrons. He needs to destroy so the pathogens. Uh, and we produce uh, a natural sanitization. There are no chemical products. We do not use any chemical elements to to sanitize the air. The air, the pathogens on air are killed. We are not stopping all bacteria, pathogens inside the filter. We are not stopping there and uh, the pure guy who has to make maintenance, he has to remove a filter full of bacteria with baby inside COVID-19. No, we kill all the bacteria that are present on air and on, on the surfaces. Moreover, we have seen in the tests that we have done inside a real operation theater, so these are tests available to everybody, that all the surfaces treated day by day with non-thermal plasma, they became inhospitable for the bacteria. So the bacteria colonies decrease day by day, in spite of the fact that maybe during the night we stopped the machine and we work it only during the daytime because probably there is a sort of memory effect and the, there is a massive reduction of the bacteria. This means that if you have an ambient that you start to treat with non-thermal plasma, after some time, after some days, it depends on the size of the ambient, obviously, also all the surfaces will be less contaminated by the bacteria. So these are, this is very important in any medical structure, but it's very important also in a catering company it's important inside the restaurant. It's important in our houses. So this is an effect that was uh, uh, detected by uh, this la third party laboratory who made this test, uh, that made this test uh, in, the, in the hospital. So this is very important and it's 100% safe. So there are no side effects to the people. This is the reason why I can use 24 hour a day this technology inside an ambient because there are no side effects for the people inside. Okay, this is extremely important because if you, we have talked about the UV lamps, UV lamps are dangerous. As you know, in the sanitization uh, systems with UV lamps, there are also presence detectors to stop the energy in case of people inside the ambience. In case the use of ozone, as we, as I, we told, uh, we discussed a few minutes ago, ozone is used, uh, is used uh, during the night time. So these are old style technologies, dangerous for people, everybody knows, and has to be treated in a particular way, has to be managed in a particular way, but they cannot guarantee the protection when people are inside an ambient. With non-thermal plasma, you have a massive benefit because beside the sanitization of air and surfaces, you have an improvement of the wellness conditions because non-thermal plasma is suggested also to all people with respiration problems like asthma, like allergies. And so we have a, a great benefit in terms of for the organism because it works much better. 
which is our portfolio. Okay, Jonix is an Italian company. 100% of the production is made uh, in, in our company in Italy. We have an R&D department, design and manufacturing. Obviously, that all, mostly of the tests that you will find in our uh, scientific dossier are made by third-party laboratories or universities. So, absolutely transparent. We have a complete range of standalone products with different sizes. The technology is always the same. The heart of this technology is always the same, but obviously, as my lamp, my light is not enough to illuminate an airport, also in our technology, if the ambient is big, the same concept has to be bigger. The same technology has to be bigger. Okay, so we start from cube units that is typically used in residential or surgery uh, applications, in the dentist application, like shops, etc. We arrive to mate that are typically used in the operation theater, in the food industries or laboratories. We have these devices, we call them inside, that are used to be installed inside the ducts, inside the hair and lead units, inside the rooftop, but also inside fan coil. Which are the advantages? The first one is uh, that we have no limitation in terms of airspeed. As you know, when we work uh, with the UV lamps, UV lamps are not designed to sanitize an airstream. UV lamps are used there and uh, this is a old style technology are used to sanitize the surface of coils or some part of that under the light cone. With our device, we sanitize completely the air streams with a, without any limitation in the air speed. Moreover, we sanitize continuously, constantly, the internal surface of ducts. So we have this double effect on air and on ducts. Moreover, if this device is installed before the uh, hair and the unit, for instance, we sanitize completely the surface of coils, filter, etc. Why? Because the air is charged with non-thermal plasma and non-thermal plasma, as we have told till now, sanitize the air and all the surfaces in touch with this air. We have no extra pressure drops. So, so this means that we can add these devices on our technology or on any existing uh, air conditioning systems without any effect on ventilation, without any extra power consumption. The power consumption is absolutely limited because we talk about few watts. We are not talking about many watts as if with the UV lamps. A machine like this one, for instance, the power consumption is around 10 watts, okay? So very negligible extra power consumption. This is very important. We have a very compact solution to install inside the fan coil units with cabinets. So typically in the office building, but also inside the hotels, these are, uh, uh, can be applied close to the coil in order to have sanitization of the coil constant sanitization of coil and airstream. We have a special device, this is new, that is suitable to install inside the elevators. Why? Because in inside the elevators, we know that it's part, almost impossible to maintain the social distance. It's a very, uh, there is a part of the elevator that is the keyboard that is uh, very dangerous because uh, all people touch the keyboard. So, because we, um, we learned that uh, one way to transmit the virus is also to touch surfaces contaminated. In this way, we have the possibility to guarantee the constant sanitization of all surfaces, included internal surfaces, included the keyboard, without any side effect with the people inside, the passengers or the elevators. So this is important because we can guarantee in this way the sanitization 24 hours a day without any side effect. Some applications, it's very easy. I can tell you that honestly, before the COVID-19, our core business were mainly with the medical structures, hospital clinics, dentist rehabilitation centers, and food industries. Food industries, big food companies, catering, why? Because these two industries, these two applications, 
they are historically much more oriented to the sanitization, much more uh, conscious on this. Uh, we, ha we have a big market in the Far East, in Korea, in Japan, where they are very, it's part of their culture. Now also in Europe, it's becoming very, very important. After COVID-19, everybody is looking for solutions to protect themselves and the people, the employees inside the ambience, inside the offices. So schools, we had uh, now we, fortunately, there are some schools that decided to adopt this technology to protect students and professors inside and to guarantee the constant sanitization of each ambient and all, each surface, sorry, and to reduce the, uh, the absence for illness, okay? Residential, kitchen, one additional advantage is to remove all smells about uh, uh, cooking food. Uh, to reduce uh, the, um, the VOC presence on air, to improve the respiratory function, to reduce the allergies that unfortunately are, become, are very popular here in Europe. Here by here, the number of people is rising with allergies, respiration allergies, and you have a greater benefit if you maintain, if you can contrast the, that uh, uh, this kind of disease continuously with the sanitization system based on non-thermal plasma. Another very important application field is uh, the hospitality, hotels, to protect mainly the employees because uh, you can sanitize perfectly the room, okay, to protect the, the clients, but also it's very important to protect the, the, the employees. Uh, ideal uh, in Dubai, for instance, uh, there, the, for the managers in the hotels, it's really important to protect the employees because if you have only one uh, employee with COVID-19, the risk is to be forced to close the hotel. So it's very important to protect our, our team there. We have also portable units like the Minimate that can sanitize completely air and surfaces of a room during the housekeeping process. This is one of the applications, but there are many, many others. Uh, sorry, there are ductable units that can be integrated with uh, ceiling mounted uh, fan coil to have the constant sanitization and also odor abatement because uh, it's a common experience that you ask to have no smoke room. I don't smoke, so I ask for no smoking room in the hotel, but probably some guests before of me smoke it in the room, so you feel the smell of smoke, in spite of you selected the no smoking room. So with this device, you cancel completely the odors, not only on air, but also on all furniture, because you destroy the, you cut the odors, as I explained to you before. Food industry, they are very, uh, the mindset, their mindset is to improve constantly the food safety, to improve constantly the hygienic level. So I fully agree with uh, Dr. Marwa when she said that it's important to use a multi-layer defense strategy. There are no, there's no only one technology, magic technology suitable to solve any problem. Multi-layer solution is, uh, is important. So we combine our clients in the food industry, they combine their strategy, their cleaning strategies with our technology to reach all that places that cannot be reached daily to guarantee, the, to avoid the food contamination, direct food contamination, indirect food contamination, cross food contamination between, uh, for instance, vegetables and meat. All these type of contaminations are constantly uh, contrasted by our technology. Moreover, contrasting the bacteria prolification, we improve the shelf life of fresh products. So we have a big market also in the industry of food, fresh food distribution. Laboratories, it's very easy to understand why in the laboratories, okay? We have portable machines or uh, units to fix on the wall or on the ceiling. Operation theaters. Uh, typically, we use, uh, we offer this machine that is uh, uh, the mate. In this case, uh, we have integrated uh, G4, F7, AH13 filters and EPA filter. Why? 
because if you want to speak with the doctors, you must speak, uh, you, you have to introduce your technology with EPA because EPA is, uh, is well known by everybody. It's still, uh, there is still uh, this uh, idea that uh, in a, if in a machine you have an EPA filter, the machine is good. So we decided to introduce the EPA filter, but it's not needed. Uh, we have it. We, uh, we have a plug fan on board to control the fan speed. We have a touch screen system by Karel to, it's fully programmable. And uh, this is the most sophisticated machine that we, we have and it's typically used in operation theater. But the same technology can be applied also in the big kitchens for restaurants or for uh, uh, catering industry. The last, uh, what, last example, but this is one of the last, uh, it's uh, regarding, as I told you, in the fresh products warehouses, that could be fruit, vegetables, flowers, because in this case, I control the ethylene production. And so I have a ripening delay. So I can improve the shelf life of my products and so to protect them, to reduce the waste material. This is extremely interesting and also the economical point of view. One of the last ex experiences that I had, it was in the, in the Gulf area where there was a, a residential towers and they had a problem with the smell of waste because on the base floor there was uh, the waste collection room and uh, the designer put uh, the, the air conditioning system uh, uh, dampers too close to the waste collection room. So we uh, upgraded this room with our steel device in order to destroy continu continuously the odors. So you have two benefits. One is to reduce, we can say to stop the bacteria prolification and on the other side to destroy any chemical and organic odors. And so we fixed the problem in a very hot ambience as Dubai. Other applications, it's up to you. There are, uh, we have an application in the airports, we have application in the shops, mall, uh, cinema, uh, et cetera. So one of the most important thing that uh, our devices can be really applied, uh, applied in any kind of installations because uh, each one can be developed, can be sited according with the needs of the clients. So these are the, the performances at the end in terms of benefits. And these are a part of the certifications that we have. So I recently also our device has been certified as a medical device uh, class, class one. Okay. We are also on greening uh, certified, tube certified, and we have been uh, uh, mentioned by European Union as first class innovation ideas. So seal of excellence. So these are uh, proof of our, uh, the quality of our products and the behavior of them. So that's, uh, that's all for me. Um, for any question, uh, it will be a great pleasure to answer to you. In the meantime, also, if uh, you are interested to receive our scientific dossier through Mr. Rami or directly, it would be a great honor for me to share it with you. And after that, any, any question is more than welcome.